One day a salesman comes to camp boasting that his new steam-powered machine can drill faster than any human being. In walks John Henry, a former slave and the best steel driver in the land. Standing mighty and strong, he approaches the machine and announces that he will accept the challenge. The battle begins between man and machine. The conditions become brutal as the heat beats down. The gathering crowd is stunned both by John Henry's strength and by the machine's relentless power. As John Henry begins to tire, he drops to one knee, but determined, he picks himself up and carries on, matching the machine stroke for stroke. Overcome with exhaustion, John Henry eventually drops to both knees. This time he is slower to rise, but even more determined to do so than before. Summoning the last of his energy, he begins to sing the spiritual, Every time I feel the spirit, and the sound of his powerful singing voice soars out over the mayhem as the final hammer blows come crashing down. At last, John Henry claims victory over the machine while struggling for breath he collapses to the ground. The mighty steel driving man lays there lifeless, but even in death, John Henry still holds his hammer in his hand. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you. 
Hello, everybody. Please join me in welcoming uh, Mr. Adolphus Hale Stork. And I thought it would be really interesting uh, to hear him visit a little bit about this wonderful piece that you've just heard, John Henry's Big. And, and we've had a great time putting it together. I know the dancer had a wonderful time doing his part, and, and we had a great time putting the whole thing together. So we'd love to, to hear from you, Mr. Hale Stork, a little bit about your inspiration for the piece, why, why this particular story, why the trombone, uh, uh, and, and, and what gave you some of these wonderful ideas? Well, having the opportunity to write for you uh, was uh, very encouraging. Um, I am a big fan of the trombone. I think it's a very powerful and noble instrument. And um, uh, when, you asked me to write something for you. I, I'd always wanted to do something on John Henry. Um, it's one of the few American folk tales that uh, has a, as a heroic figure an African American. And uh, the, if you then know the story of John Henry, John Henry, actually, it, it's kind of apocryphal whether he actually existed or. Uh, or it's just totally made up or a mixture. And he was working on the railroad, trying to, going through the, uh, I think the, the mountains of West Virginia, uh, trying to help build the transcontinental uh, railroad. And uh, uh, they had a tunnel through the, the mountains and uh, that was done by hand, hand and dynamite back in the old days. And the, uh, the owners of the project wanted to introduce a machine that would carve out more of the mountainside a lot faster than men could do it by hand. And of course the men scoffed at that and said, no one can do it faster than John Henry. And uh, John Henry accepted a challenge 
from the bosses and um, they had a contest between the machine they had come up with and John Henry. Uh, John Henry won, but in the winning, he also died from uh, the extreme effort that he had exerted. So that's, that's the story. And all kinds of folk songs were made up about him. There's a famous American folk song, which is featured in the piece I wrote for you. And um, also another piece and uh, another song in the piece I wrote for you is um, Every Time I Feel the Spirit. And uh, right towards the end, you can hear the, the, the mighty uh, strokes of the hammer uh, in the piano while the trombone is in, intoning every time I feel the spirit. And it, it really builds up with high, with high energy at that spot. And that's the climax of the piece before uh, John Henry slowly expires from a fatal heart attack. Yeah, it's such a powerful piece, and, and it, it is, it's such a joy to play. I feel like it's, it's fairly programmatic, so I, I really appreciate your sort of uh, giving our listeners uh, a, a view in, into the details of this fantastic story, because uh, yeah. I think they're very relevant in, in, in preparing the piece. We've mm -hmm. had a great time playing it, and I'm, guess, I'm, I'm curious as to whether or not you have any thoughts on, you know, the, exploring this story of John Henry and and how this story might relate to the modern world uh, well you know you could think of it symbolically of, of the efforts of african americans beating their heads against the stone mountain <laughs> to try to uh uh make some headway uh in america and uh, uh some of them have died uh, some of us i should say have died in the process um but it's, it's, it's a, a heroic effort to have existed in this country for 400 years uh, and kept going. And actually that's, uh, uh, that's what my symphony is about because the, the title of the fourth symphony is Survive. And uh, the, each movement has a separate meaning for our history, meaning still holding on, it's the first movement based on the African-American spiritual. I'll, I'll keep your hand on the plow, hold on, hold on. And then the second movement is um, uh, sometimes with a light touch, which is the scherzo. And then the third movement is while well, remembering the Emmanuel Nine and many others. And the fourth movement is still crossing that bridge. And that's very timely uh, considering what's going on in some states. And uh, then there's a coda that says a time to heal. So um, that's, I, I'm very socially conscious and I apply my social consciousness uh, into, into my writing. And so um, the story about John Henry's a, a story about a heroic gesture under great duress. Fantastic. And, 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 and you can feel that struggle and, 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 and that uh, story every moment of the way while playing this piece, while listening to this piece, it's incredibly descriptive and you've written what I think is a masterpiece. Uh, oh. So I just wanna thank you. Thank you sure. again for, for giving us this piece. And, and I look forward to, to uh, uh, hearing uh, all of the other trombonists that will be learning this piece in the future. <laughs> oh, that's uh, awesome. Uh, uh, and, and they'll have their workout out for them. <laughs> uh, 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 and, and yeah, you, you, you always give me plenty to do. So thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh -huh. I appreciate your coaching me through some of the sensible ways of writing for the trombone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 really been a pleasure and a joy, and, and we look forward to to more in the future. And I just want to thank you for writing this piece, and thanks you for, thank you for your time today. Oh, well, thank you, David. Thank you for inviting me to write it and, and to be with you. Thank you. My name is Andrew Cribbett. I've had the privilege of artistically collaborating with David Jackson um, on the story of John Henry. Um, the choreographic process has been quite interesting in terms of the music as well as the storyline. Um, I took the storyline first and kind of read it a few thousand times to see um, how it made me feel as an individual and to kind of relate to um, John Henry's story and how he may have felt during his time of struggle. Um, then from there, I just started to play the music and kind of see what 
um, movement quality felt right um, in certain points of the highs and lows, as well as, again, what that emotional impact um, had on me and his story of just all around perseverance and determination. Um, it truly made me um, believe that the mind is very powerful in terms of if you tell yourself you can do something you can and will versus speaking it out into existence and then it failing or falling. Um, so to me, this is what that piece is about, of just um, that nonstop, ongoing push forward, and especially now in today's world, I feel that's very important.